Sewing Machine Installation The Selco office in Davangere receives an inquiry from an end user for a solar sewing machine installation. The branch manager discusses with the end user about the system details, explains its benefits and confirms the order. Post confirmation, the sales executive gets the end user's signature on the order acknowledgement form. He arrives at the branch office after the site survey and discusses with the branch manager about the requirement of the end user and submits the order acknowledgement form. The branch manager approves and gives the order acknowledgement form to the office administrator and briefs him to generate the interbranch memo. The office administrator raises the interbranch memo and the goods receipt note and he generates a delivery chalan which includes the material list and the tax and service invoice. He gets the approval of the branch manager on the delivery chalan. He calls the end user and confirms the availability, date and time for installation. He briefs the technician about the order and tells him to get the material ready from the godown. The technician gets ready to go to the site by taking all components listed in the delivery chalan from the branch godown loads it into the pickup truck carefully, packs all the safety kit and tools required for the installation. After that, he unloads the material with the help of the assistant and carries it inside the house. He greets the end user and takes the signature of the end user on the delivery chalan confirming the delivery of materials. He prepares the components for installation. Panel 12 volt 60 watt. Battery 12 volt 60 ampere hour. Charge regulator 12 volt 10 ampere hour. Paddle controller and pulley belt. MMS 60 watt. Always wear a safety jacket, gloves and helmet before starting the installation. Enter the serial number of the panel and the battery for warranty. Before fixing the module mounting structure, check the direction using a compass and mark the point at which the anchor nail must be placed for the GI pipe. Use a drilling machine to drill holes in the wall for the nails and fix the GI pipe on the wall using nail and hammer. Always make sure not to drill on the pillar or a beam. The next step is to connect the module mounting structure to the panel. Attach the nut and bolt. Connect the lugs to the wire. Red wire positive, black wire negative. After that, align the panel facing south with appropriate inclination as per the region for maximum radiation. Now start the wiring from inside. Find a place for taking the wire inside the room and drill a hole into the wall.
pass the wire through the PVC pipe and fix it to the wall using clamps. Now to connect the charge regulator, keep the charge controller on the wooden box and mark the points to drill holes for the wire. Use a drilling machine and drill 6 holes to connect the positive and negative wires from solar panel, battery and load. Cut the wooden box on the sides to pass the wires and PVC pipe inside. Mount the wooden box and the charge regulator to the wall. Fix the charge regulator on the wooden box using nails and a screwdriver. Strip the wire using a wire stripper and attach the lugs using a wire crimper and connect it to the charge regulator. Then connect the battery to the charge regulator. Then connect the load to the charge regulator. And connect the panel to the charge regulator. To connect the battery, wind the wire on a rod for flexibility. Apply petroleum jelly on the terminal of the battery to avoid rusting and connect the wire accordingly. Fix the floats on the battery for checking the water level. If the indicator is below the red line, the battery needs to be serviced. Fix a switch for turning the sewing machine motor on or off. Check the orientation of the motor and fix it on the sewing machine table. Connect the pedal between the motor and the battery. Wind the wire using the rod for flexibility. The pedal is used for controlling the motor. Connect the motor to the pulley of the machine. Check the working of the paddle controller and check whether it is heating up while the machine is running. The setup is complete. The technician explains the indicators on the charge regulator and the do's and don'ts. He also explains 
the maintenance and the safety measures to be taken while using the machine to the end user. Thank you.